Welcome back to Box of Avenue. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be sharing one of my very favorite, very healthy soups with you. This is my chicken and vegetable detox soup. If this is your first time here, my name is Chloe. I write the blog Boxwood Avenue. I share everyday tips for simple living. I've got homesteading tips and tricks. I've got lots of delicious recipes. I share some interior design advice, and I live on a cattle ranch in Northern California. So I share a lot of my ranch life too. You can check me out at boxwoodavenue.com. You can find me on Instagram, I'm at Boxwood Avenue. And if you're on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe while you're here. So let's go ahead and get started making this easy chicken and vegetable soup. I always find myself making this recipe after I've had a big weekend and I need to do a little bit of cleansing, kind of resets me for the week. This recipe is packed with so many different kinds of veggies and it's a great one because you can mix and match different things. So if you don't like kale, you can swap it for maybe some broccoli or some other leafy green. I've got onion and zucchini here too. You could always add mushrooms or tomatoes, anything that you've got on hand. This is kind of like a refrigerator soup. Anything you've got in the refrigerator that you need to use up, just throw it in the soup. It's packed full of flavor and it's so good. Sometimes I add beans to this soup. I'm gonna add some garbanzo beans today. If you're not a fan of beans, you can always swap it out for a different starch. You could go for some pasta or some rice or some potatoes. Sometimes I skip the beans and the starch altogether if I'm really going for a deep cleanse. And then for my protein, on top of the beans, I've got some rotisserie chicken. And to really round the soup out, I've got freshly grated Parmesan cheese because we all have our bison and mine is Parmesan. And I'm gonna go out to the garden and I'm gonna get some fresh herbs and I'm gonna bundle them up and pop them in the soup while it cooks just to add a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna start with my onion, celery, and carrot mixture. I'm gonna dice up my onion. I'm using a white onion. You could also use a yellow onion if that's what you have on hand. I'm also gonna mince up some garlic. I'm gonna slice up my carrots and my celery into like quarter inch size slices soup size slices. Now that I've got my celery and my carrots and my onion and my garlic all ready to go, I'm gonna heat up a little bit of oil. You can use butter too if you wanted to use butter in my cast iron pot here. You can use just a regular stock pot too, but a cast iron pot is great for soups. So I'm going to do two tablespoons and get that nice and warm. Then I'll add in this first round of veggies and we'll get them sauteing until they get nice and soft. It takes about 10 minutes. Okay, so I've got that going and now I'm gonna de-stem my kale. If you're not a big fan of kale or maybe some people in your family are big fans of kale, try it in a soup or a smoothie. I'm not a big salad person, I don't love salads, but I really like kale in soups and in smoothies. And it's a great way to kind of mask the um, intense flavor that kale sometimes has while still getting those really good vitamins and all those antioxidants. I'm gonna save these two stems because I'm gonna make a smoothie for breakfast tomorrow. And I save these stems for the goats because they love it. Next, I'm gonna start with the zucchini. Again, if you don't have zucchini, just skip this. This zucchini is really mild in flavor. I put it in my omelets. I absolutely love it. I really could probably just eat it like candy. I'm gonna cut these into little medallions and then to cut them in half. And I'll add these veggies to my soup after my carrots and my onion are soft. I think my onions are about done. It smells so good in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my veggies in. I'm gonna add in the chicken stock. I'm gonna season to taste how I add a little salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna run out to the garden and grab a bundle of fresh herbs and toss it in and let the soup cook for about 20 minutes. been about 20 minutes and the soup smells so good and it's perfect timing because my sister just texted me and asked me if she could come over for dinner, which is great. I've already got dinner ready. So I'm going to grate up some Parmesan and get ready for when she gets here. And then I'm going to take the rest of this and I'm going to put it in a container because I just had some new neighbors move in. When you live in a town of 99, having new neighbors move in is a big deal. So I'm going to take the rest of it over to them. This is such a great recipe for hiding vegetables, for detoxing. It's quick and easy and healthy. I hope that you guys had fun making this soup with me today. And if you like this recipe, there's a lot more where that came from. Just visit me at boxofavenue.com.